Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a basic navigation between different screens that we have. So let's go to the software. The idea here is to, if you are used to um, Bicheo Designer, I'm going to try to make the basic navigation, okay, but be aware that we have a different way to navigate, it's a little bit more fancy than Video Designer, so that will be covered later. But in here, I'm going to show you only the basic navigation. So let's go to the full screen here. So in the left part, as I mentioned before, we have the screens over here. Okay. And once we click on the screen, we have this option to add folder that allows us to make different navigations, but this will be covered later, okay, in a different video. So what I'm going to do is to create different screens. So um, you can see how it can be related to Video Designer. So once you click on over here, okay, remember that we don't have right click, you have this screen ID, okay, it can be changed. And also you have the possibility to change the type of the screen. In this case, I'm going to leave it as canvas. Later we're going to see the different types that we have. So let's click OK and now add another one with ID number 5 just to give you an idea. So we are in the screen number 1. How we can jump into another one? So this one is very easy. Once we are on the screen, click and over here, in the left part we have the Project Explorer. But below we have the tool chest. And in the tool chest, what we can do is to select the switch, drag and drop it. Okay. I'm going to put it over here. And when we have this switch, in the right part we have the properties. And in the properties we have the function. And in the functions, we should be able to see operations. In the operations, we have different stuff, but what we're going to do now is to use this one, a screen change. Okay, you also see this one, content change, but that is related to the contents that we're going to see that in a different topic. So, once you select the switch, function, touch, operations, okay, you have the possibility to select by previous or a specific ID. And if you select a specific ID, that would be the screen ID. And the screen ID, you can see it over here in the left, okay? And it can also be reassigned, okay? Or when you select a new one, this is what you have over here to change. So let's go back over here and specify, for example, to change to the screen number two. So I'm going to move this one over here and select here number two. Okay, so in this way you can move from the screen one to the screen two, and now let's create another one, Control C, Control B, and if you don't want to see Control C or Control B, you can select the device, uh, the object, in the top you have the copy, and then this one is the paste, and you have it over here. Okay, so I'm going to copy, and specify ID number one to return this one and this one the number five. Now, if you want to add more stuff over here into the navigation, what you need to do is to go to details. Okay, if you want security, you have it over here and then you have the press effect in case you want to shift it. Okay, let's put over here in this one the shift. Then I'm going to change here on shape you can specify it the um, the text that you want so when is release normal status um, boom, 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 screen two and press screen two I'm going to specify the same okay and then you can also have the possibility to change and play a little bit more with this but we're going to cover that later for the objects for the specific uh, model. So now I'm going to change this. Okay, screen three. Just going to show you how you can navigate. Okay, screen three. 
and this one screen one one screen one so now to have an idea where I am let's add another object that is useful which is a text box okay here just drag and drop and here you can define what you want in the text for example a screen one here you can go to the font and define the size so I'm going to put that in 50 you can resize this screen one now what we're going to do is to copy all this okay copy let's go to project explorer I'm going to paste it over here I'm going to change this to a screen 2 for the text box um, in favorite we have all this option but if not you can go to uh, no this one in shape okay text in order to text this and also the font okay uh, this one is already the same function 5 screen 3 now here paste screen number 3 that the screen is number 5 so imagine now that you don't want this to be the number 5 okay when you click on the screen in the right part on the properties you can see here in the basic the screen ID so here you can change this okay for example to 3 and here you can change the level from here for example uh, menu screen 3 okay this is just for navigation so that you're going to see that um, in the other one if you want to change this one this is what you want to want to change so this is menu screen 3 la 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 you can see here how it changed so once you have this okay and you want to test the navigation you just need to go over here this one is to download but this one let's just simulate mm -hmm. screen one screen two screen one screen two and this one i believe i changed this we don't have any more the number five if i configure over here okay so here we can go over here and change the screen in order to make it work again so we can simulate yes just change this to the other screen there we go and three and let's just go back okay so this is how you can make a basic navigation now if you for example wants to see in a variable okay which is the actual screen id you can use the numeric display okay over here and in current variable you just need to go to instead of the variable okay you can use target and you can use the screen ID okay so you can access to the actual screen ID and if I know wrong okay the direction is two ways so you can write and read the variable so let's go over here Control C I'm going to paste it in the screen 2 and in the screen 3 okay so now I'm going to simulate this again just to show you over here now we're going to the screen number two screen number three and this is how you can navigate oh, screen number three there is no more okay it doesn't do anything okay there's never the screen three has the ID five so if I press five there we go so this is another way of navigation so in this video we have covered how you can make the basic navigation similar to Bicheo designer if you want to change only the screens so this is it for this part later we're going to see how you can use the folder for different and advanced navigation so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one